Oh, it's another YouTube channel about video games. So like this and subscribe to me and put some shiny quarters in my pocket so I can get more video games. Hey everybody, it's uh, Bill W here and uh, today we are going to be playing Earth Wars. I don't really know much about this game other than the fact that it cost me uh, $5 through the uh, e-store. So let's uh, hop into it and see what this is like. Um, thank you to everybody so far who's watched, subscribed, and liked all my videos. Uh, hopefully they've been at least somewhat entertaining for you. So let's see what this is like. In the year 2020, Earth was invaded by an unknown hostile organism known only as the EVE. Nation after nation fell under the onslaught from the EVE. Currently, 70% of the United States is under EVE control. Modern weapons are no match for the power of the EVE, leaving humanity helpless. Mankind is exhausted and on the brink of extinction. But there is one last hope. By fusing EVE body history with metal, we have developed a superior class of ar bio armor. Through an intricate surgical operation, our elite forces, the anti troops, are able to harness the power of this new weapon. Through the bravery of the anti, we managed to take out a Baron class EVE for the first time. Finally, there was hope. In the wake of this victory, humanity has mounted a large scale counter offensive. Our hopes now lie with the newfound power of the anti. All right, so it looks like we start off being able to uh, make a character here. Let's see what we can find. I like the uh, cartooniness of the graphics on here, honestly. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Voice selection, who knows. All right. No idea what the different control types actually are. Um, we'll find out. Difficulty, easy, normal, hard. Let's uh, start on easy and go with there. United Earth Commander in Chief Jeffrey Hardy. It is time you learned about the next step in our war against the EBE. We're calling this operation New Dawn as it marks a new chapter in humanity's story. Our target is one of the EVE habitats, or nests. Our aim is to seize the enemy's energy transport plant located within the Alaska nest. This is part of a large-scale campaign with the end goal of invading the EVE homeworld. Our strategy is to capture New York and Wisconsin and go through Canada to reach our final target in Alaska. The anti-troops will mount an aerial assault on New York while the 7th Fleet begins shelling the city. Once all our troops are safely on the ground, we'll make our way to the heart of New York Nest. Take out the Baron class EVE known as Cerberus that has taken over Grand Terminal. We are expecting a fight, gentlemen. This won't be over until one side has been annihilated. So that. Nice. Survey the team, look at the enemy, and destroy them. Knowing that this will signal the start of humanity's counteroffensive, we must not fail. Everyone destroyed the city center. So like a few people here, so jump with B. Attack with a Y. Gas cell. The body's EV is composed of gaseous cells. By collecting it, you can increase your capacity. And I totally messed what the second one said, so... I don't know. Enemy encounter. Let's see how the battle in this goes. Made contact with enemy EVE. Enemy encounter is incoming. You make an with an enemy wave. Your area movements will be restricted. You need to destroy all EVE. They are <laughs> Active crystals are geo crystal generated from the body, floating EV coming in contact with the air. 
This becomes energy necessary for crafting and enhancing weapons. Other than defeating EVs in battle, you can also disassemble materials to obtain active crystals. By defeating EVEs, you can collect EVE materials. By collecting the materials, you can develop new weapons. You can collect multiple materials from one EVE. Rare materials may drop, so collect as many as you can. Meat, cornice, tail. Lots of stuff there. Oh, apparently I have a gun also. Pretty simple gameplay, but honestly it's pretty fun so far. It's kind of interested, or interested to get to the crafting part. When you get enemies close to death, you can inflict a fatal blow and close to an enemy and press Y. Fatal blow will defeat an enemy with one attack regardless of the enemy's remaining HP. The enemy may drop more rare materials <coughs> Ooh, level up. Yeah, the uh, gun weapon definitely not as strong, but you know it works from a distance. So, oh, only an A on that one. Collapsed building. Kinda ugly. By reducing the break gauge of an opponent with strong armor, you can force them into a break state. By attacking with weapons that have a high tech value, such as gun, you can effectively reduce the break gauge. So. But do you see the mark of an enemy? Something coming. Uh, recover HP by stopping enemies with fatal blows. If your HP is low, try and put some fatal blows. Ah! Keep hitting the wrong button trying to jump, I keep trying to hit like up to do it instead of you know, the actual jump button. It's a little bit problematic. <laughs> Ring D, yeah, that's that's understandable. I kind of kind of sucked in that one. Ooh, we're in Gun Master level 1. You know, soon that's a good thing. Ooh, Sword Master level 1 too. Hey, where'd you guys come from? Not cool. Demon scorpion things. Getting worse with every fight, aren't I? Awesome. There's so many things in the background that it's kind of wish I could poke, break, and stuff, but it's kind of just used to some of the other games I've been doing playthroughs on where you can just break a lot of stuff. Area 2, or Area Destroyed City Center 2. Oh, flying death murder things. <laughs> Alright, so you can do like actually like airborne combat by doing these boosts. There's honestly probably more strategy to this than I'm uh, showing. I'm just trying to kill and not die at this point. Yay, I got an A on that one. Slightly better, or mostly much better than I was, so. Yeah, send the 
Scorpion. This is just a lot of action going on here. I mean, really. Game mechanics in this are very fluid, or they're so, so the game controls, it's just very much you're just jumping from one thing to the next. It's uh, very, very quick to get into, which is nice. Don't really have to learn a whole lot. I mean, there's you know obviously some nuances, but it, you know walks you through pretty quickly there. Assuming we're getting close since I see a red X up there. I'm just trying to see if there's any kind of. Okay. The uh, minus gets you up to the map there. Plus brings up the standard pause screen that we saw a second ago. There's a lot of action that goes on on the screen here. It's uh, not quite confusing, but it's definitely uh, you can kind of get lost in the jumble. So it's good. There's some nice color uh, differences between you and the uh, enemies here. You know, you've got to yourself in blue. And why aren't you turning around? There was a better way to recover health than just through the. Uh, I'm sure there probably will be at some point, but uh, then just through the you know fatal attacks or whatever they're called. Ooh, C. I want to know where these guys disappear to when I actually get into a fight. That's just not cool. Bearing class signals coming from the Grand Terminal. Eliminate on sight. Oh. Emergency. He's big and ugly. Here comes a little puppy. Let's house train this dog. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I think I already am, because I don't know how to get out of this. Yeah, I died. I have no idea what happens when you die. During the mission, you can revive and rejoin the fight a certain number of times. When your continues reach zero and you have zero HP left, you'll fill in the mission. Alright, well that's good that I actually you know, apparently you know, die more than once here, so. Otherwise that would be pretty annoying. Sure. So how do I get out of that frozen stasis point there? So how is it strong? Close to beating him, I can stop getting paralyzed and getting beat up. And I'm 
Vitals are low, what are you doing? I'm getting beat up, obviously. HP is low, boss summonies will have a only destroy attack mark. When that happens, you only be able to defeat them with a fatal blow. Level up. Ooh, stinky saliva. HQ, this is Victor 1. We've eliminated the Baron class EBE known as Cerberus. Roger that. Good work. Rusty Troop Evac. Let's wait for the next battle. Hmm, overall rank A. Hmm, learn attack plus one. Silicon Risen has been paid. Alright, I have no idea what that is or what it does. Good work on your last mission. The campaign to take re retake New York was a success. This is just the first step in our counteroffensive. We're now planning to use the large underground network to infiltrate Wisconsin, so we need to scout out the remaining enemy forces in the network and the surrounding area. The infantry's 3rd Battalion and Reconnaissance platoon, platoon will begin the investigation. The anti-troops need to get ready for the next mission and make sure they're at peak performance. Major Eddie Wilson. I'm sure you know this already, but our anti-equipment is special bio-armor. Note that we don't distribute this equipment like we do for our regular troops. If you want better armor, you're going to have to make it yourself. Of course I will. Are we recording? Good. I have to leave a record of this bloody war while I still have the chance. The power of the anti is truly immense. This may well be our chance to claw our way out of our current desperate situation. Even new recruits such as Johnny and Thomas have incredible strength compared to the ordinary troops. Having successfully retaken New York, New Orleans is growing among the troops. They are winning this war against the EBE for all of us. Eddie Wilson, a commanding officer of the anti troops holding the rank of major. He's one of the lucky few to have survived the EBE on slide. He's played a key role in leading the counteroffensive from the very beginning to the end when, when the end seemed almost inevitable. He was one of the first to bravely volunteer for the experimental surgery that created the special enhanced troops, the anti, and he proved to be the first to be successfully enhanced. He's now responsible for the anti troops and commanding battlefield strategy. Jeffrey Harvey, United Earth Commander-in-Chief, Commander-in-Chief and Overall Charge Campaign, issue notice from United Earth Command and the mastermind behind the new Dawn mission, places high priority on countermeasures such as the anti-troops and rehabilitating commandant's capacity to wage war. He can be ruthless and you'll use any means necessary to annihilate e the EBE for mankind. New York, major city in the United States of America, it suffered a devastating attack during the 2020 EBE invasion, it was one of the many global cities that was destroyed, there was a barren class. EBE called Cerberus occupying New York's main station, Grand Terminal, and the station has been turned into a major EBE nest. Their nest is now expanding from Grand Terminal. It acts as the main military base and the entrance to the underground network. One-handed swords, standard weapon can be equipped on the right hand. There are multiple versions, standard straight, and multi-hit serrating short swords with high TEC. You can also wield on your left hand if you meet the right conditions. This allows you to keep equipped swords in both hands. Guns a standard weapon equipped with the left hand. Performance and quality differs widely depending on the gun. You can also equip it in your right hand if you need the right conditions. This will allow you to equip guns in both hands. This is the base menu. You can perform actions such as selecting missions and viewing the weapons or the skills menu. Alright, let's take a look here. Kind of weird they didn't actually give you a chance to you know adjust the volume before you started, but you know whatever, it's cool. <laughs> All right, let's see. Customize skills. Let's see what we can do in here. Cecilia Crawford, medical research. I am responsible for the development of the anti-troops. 
By getting a battle experience, you'll get stronger. I'm the one who came up with this method of enhancement. You can take my word as the absolute truth. <laughs> yeah, right. Why don't you show me what you can really do when the gloves are off? Oh my. Uh, so Craft approach the anti troops after the initial EV assault to become a leading expert in EV counter technology. Currently, her main focus is on the surgery, maintenance, and development of anti troops as the lead researcher of the EVE. She's seen as a vital asset to humanity and surround best security at all times. She has a calm demeanor and cares only how an event might further her research. Nothing gives her greater pleasure than witnessing the results of her work. This is the skill settings menu, set skills you have learned, and switch between styles. You can choose different styles to affect your character's fighting style. The different types, for example, specializing in attack or defense, you can change your style at any time from the skill settings menu. Alright, so it looks like... You can choose a variety of ones. Here's apparently if you want to make yourself terrible and... I don't understand that. There's the defense one, balanced. Attack, which gives you less health and whatnot. Technical, which gives you more technology, which I'm not quite sure on at this point. Alright, that one's skill settings. These are skill boosts, play linking action clues, you can act action skills, you can activate certain effects. Try setting up boost skill and linking it to an action skill. Now you can set up to five skills. By switching skill slots, you can change to the most effective skill settings. Okay, apparently I got some good jumping skills. Okay. Still not quite sure how I'm doing this or what I'm doing here. Poking buttons. Okay, so apparently all those are already set, so we can... You successfully linked the selected action skill by doing this, you've enhanced the action skills, attack and tech. It's also possible to link several boost skills to one action skill. It's up to you to customize your skills, and whether you want to enhance several skills or focus on just one skill. Alright. Yeah, I just wasn't poking the buttons properly, apparently. I have issues sometimes. Alright, let's... Okay, apparently... Inflict a one-handed combo attack one, combo attack two. I have no idea if these are... Any difference whatsoever in those, but whatever. Alright, let's check out weapon construction here. That guy's creepy looking. Ryunosuke Miyagi. I probably butchered that. The bioalmer uses a fusion of EBE organic cells and metal. By connecting to your nervous system and incorporating it into your body, you control it as if it were your own. It's revolutionary! If we collect any of the cells or junk parts bring into us, we can make some splendid weapons out of them. All right, weapon construction. Alright. Ryunosuke Miyagi, uh, weapons development chief of the Tuk Toyokawa Heavy Industries, originally from Japan. With the cooperation of the United Earth and Cecilia Crawford, he has pursued, pushed technology to the limit and beyond with successful development of anti EB bio armor. Currently focused on new equipment for the anti troops, a talented man with a single mind focused on developing even stronger weaponry. This is the weapons menu. You can craft, enhance, dismantle, or equip weapons. A material set has been delivered for basic weapon crafting. You can craft new weapons using craft materials and energy. You can bestow additional effects on a weapon depending on the selected materials. Try different combinations to get different types of weapons. 
So we should have in the top right, I've got like a total energy list that enhance the appearance of intelligence. All right, they don't really seem to actually like, do anything, so. So that one looks like it's an attack of seven, tech of three, attack eight, tech three, attack seven, tech four. That one's got an attack four, tech six, that's a five, five. It's a 3-4. That looks like it'll add an extra 5 defense, so let's... Craft that. Because I like to have defense. Alright, so let's go... What, 7-4 is it? Mighty energy consuming, but it looks really awesome. So how can I not go for it if it looks really awesome? I mean, really. I mean, all right. So we've got. Serrated fangs and a hot to touch cornice tail. Ooh, so that created a fire one. Sweet. Alright, do we have enough? We do not have enough energy to create any of the uh, armor or to create any of the new guns. Let's see, enhanced weapons by using special enhanced materials and energy. You can also use spare craft materials to enhance a weapon. Now let's see if we can enhance this. Okay, so it looks like you can just kind of use that to increase. It looks like it's going to up my defense. Okay, I'm going to just take these off and get it up to level 2 before... Okay, you can get up to level 10 apparently. So. I don't know if uh, certain materials give better things than others. Alright, so we're getting close to level 3 on this. Let's get that up to 3. Oh, I don't have enough energy! Alright, well, let's see if we can upgrade our fire sword. Alright, and then we get some plus 1 on that attack, so that'll be good. Alright, dismantle weapons. You can dismantle any weapons you don't need. You should do this when you no longer have space for weapons. Okay, the only two I have listed here are the two I'm planning to use. So let's go ahead and equip those. Turn or change your equipment, so. Ah, much more awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and dismantle that. Now we got Junk Parts M1. That sounds useful. Disassemble materials. Disassemble spare materials to extract energy from them. You should this when you have too much material and not enough energy. Sounds like a good idea. Let's keep that hot to touch sleepy eye, I think. I'm pretty sure that'll be useful. Keep the I'm going to keep any of these things that are... Oh, come on. Let's try and get enough to make a gun, I guess. Damn it, I accidentally... So, apparently the... Uh, controls in there are very touchy. So, keep that in mind. Also, I now no longer have enough to uh, produce that because I accidentally, you know, uh, well, just suck. <laughs> so I got a four and six on that. Why would I want the three and four on that? I don't really understand that. So 
Yeah. We'll just keep what we got. Okay, so I think with uh, that, we'll wrap this video up, and uh, next time we'll get into the next mission. Um, you know, pretty good feel from the game so far. Definitely, I'd say, worth the five bucks I spent on it. Um, like I said, it's available in the e-store right now. Um, I think I got it on sale at the five bucks. It probably still is on sale if it was a sale price, because I only literally got this yesterday. Um, and by the time you see this, it'll have been a couple of days probably. But I'd say it's definitely worth a, worth a tryout so far. Um, pretty fun gameplay. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty fun. I do like the, you know, skills and stuff being added into it. I'm sure I'll be able to tell you more about that as I get a bit further into it. Um, but overall, definitely a good feeling coming out of it. So, uh, all right. I will, uh, talk to you guys next time. And, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Uh, there's some, you know, affiliate links down there if you want to, you know, buy a Switch or anything like that. So, uh, all right. Thank you.